the 5th of January 2023, agenda by 21. Apologies for absence. Mr. Name, Clark, my substitute. We also have uh, apologies from Councillor Eccleton and Councillor Walker, and I believe uh, Councillor Wade is uh, a substitute. And Tom Buckley. Oh, Tom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot about that. And that person's been festive. Public participation. Right, okay, then we have a minute. Yeah. 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 Well, then it's in favor of the Yeah, okay, fine. Right. Okay. Five, progress. Making regulation best at basketball court. Anyway, right, fine. Five, um, river bank repairs. Uh, no, no, no. Right, okay. Um, we historical information board. We can remove that off progress now. And town hall banners and planning application is still in progress. <coughs> right. Um, next is management accounts. Just to note them. And Fairmar Burgess. Say to definitely about three point two, but we may um sit. There's a small area that's going to be not at all. Sorry, are you able to speak up? All right, yeah, I have spoke, spoke, have talked to Becky about and the parks about keeping a particular small area where the car parking is because of a particular flower. Um, uh, regatta parking. Yeah, regatta parking. Yeah. yeah. No problem. We'd be able to keep that those areas clear for the um for the wildflowers that you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. Um, speak on anything on this? Um no, I don't think so. Um, unless you need me to. No. Right, fine. Okay, it's recommended. What's the going next, Mr. Lambert? <laughs> it is recommended that the committee results at the Fair Mile Verges are known as described going forward. So, do I get? I'll set the first. Yeah, second. All those in favour? Oh, anyway, sorry. No, I was going to say it's great for just, uh, I think, like the last time from November, May, uh, 3.10 or 3.10. But if we can get some social media behind what we're doing, why we're not there and stuff like that, I think residents really get behind it. But last time there was a tiny bit of backlash on Facebook and a few other things. Like, why why is it being mowed? Because I mean, if we get ahead of it and get a gator and get any scatterings and stuff like that, why I don't think it'll be really cool in an initiative that the town will get behind. Just to make clear that the acid and spring will still be um will be struts, yeah, maintained to prevent for the flooding. That's why it has to be kept like that. So yeah, so we go in favor. Lighting and the art. Cass, would you like to come you can speak? Um, just stay down here. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is an opportunity for the council to quickly and easily affect positive change that will halve the energy consumption at Jubilee Park. The council declared a climate emergency in 2020 was also fortunate to obtain funding for a decarbonisation report early in 2022, 
the council resolved to accept and implement the recommendations from the ABECO report, the decarbonisation report, back in April 2022. And this was the sole recommendation to Jubilee Park. The lux levels for playing hockey have been confirmed with England hockey, and the Henley Hockey Club are very much in favour of a change to energy drug rights. They recently wrote a letter to the mayor to express their support for this. Um, unlike the recommendations for the King's Arms Bar and the Town Hall, this is a really straightforward replacement, which should halve the consumption and the cost and drastically reduce the maintenance and, uh, and improve the reliability for the users. So, in summary, it's got a long term financial benefit um, aside from the social and sustainability benefits. Still, is the perfect source of funding because it's local infrastructure and we're lucky to have centres that still available. Um, I think the figures on still have changed slightly since the school council last week, but I still calculate that we have, with the money that comes in in April, I think we've still got 226,000 pounds of still available. Um, well, I worked it out earlier, so that's why I made it to the 26,000. Thank you. Anyone else like to speak? Uh, great report, fully sport recommendation six. Just one quick query. Looks like option two is the best query for supply to any reason I'm not going to close the way, or are we going to do a full deployment? Um, I thought we only need a three point. Can, can you speak on that? Oh, Catherine, sorry. Catherine. <laughs> uh, no, we were just going to go for supply two. We just suggested a, a bit more on the seal, just in case, you know, once we get into final discussions, there are we have to get in extra equipment or something just to give the Thank you. Thank uh, yeah, I'm, I'm too in favour of this because it, it's a no brainer in terms of cutting the energy level, but it's worried that. Are oh, we putting the horse before the cart given the, the 3G picture that could go down there when we get planning permission when the floodlands gets built and everything goes because the 3G picture will need flood lighting as well. So how are we going to join the two up together? And is that not how, how will we use supplier two to do that, for example? And are we putting the junction boxes in the right place so make it easy to do the flood lighting, flood lighting for the 3G pitch? We don't need to change the junction boxes or anything. This is just a straight, a straight replacement of the heads. Well, of the heads. So it's the whole head. So it doesn't make any sections. difference. It won't, it won't have any, any advantage or disadvantage waiting until the 3G pitch comes along. No, because the, the light of the 3G pitch will be part of the the whole of the 3G pitch project. It will be tailored by the Football Foundation imminently. And it would be that would be um, installed as part of the construction of the three tool pitch. But all this is doing is just replacing the lighting heads. It's not changing anything on the electrical feeds. Can we sell the ones that are there? No, we have to pay to recycle them. Do we? They're hazardous waste. Fine. Okay, so anyone else like to speak? No. So can we go with the recommendation of 6.1? The council proceeds with the order of installation of LED floodlights at Jubilee Park and 6.2 at 40k and still is allocated for the work and 6.3 that the final agreement of the terms are the delegated to town park in consultation with the state manager and project subject. All those in favour? Right. Thank you. Right. Agenda item nine. Now about purchasing appliances. I have got Councillor Hillier to email Becky a list of people, suppliers. So do I need this now? This is like a generation on the council. Um, um, there was, um, regardless of um, uh, the, the resolution is, is basically, so this recommendation would be uh, to uh, to basically recommend that the capital cost be um, capital funding be set aside. Um, so regardless, which okay. supplier we go, yeah. right. so we still need to get capital funding. Uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'll get capital funding to it. So, um, if possible, the recommendation is that. Boring, but I did look up these before, <laughs> and I did a bit of research, and these dishwashers. 
I mean, they're incredibly expensive. They're, they're sort of um, high volume restaurants and hotels. Is this, mm, that's is, what I was wondering. Is this what we yeah. need in our little galley, in our little kitchen down there? Because it's, you can get um, uh, the exactly classic, you can get passed through dishwashers, very similar. An awful lot. I'll, I'll give you that actually, if you want to. Um, that, that's where you can get there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or there's also the option have we considered renting? Because you can rent, you can rent this particular um, dishwasher. Um, and then, you know, anything goes wrong with it. I think it's £41 a week for three years. Probably um, adds up to more than the usual cost of dishwasher. Yeah. But, you know, you've got that option of if there's anything wrong, anything goes wrong. You've got replacements or whatever. Um, I just, yeah, okay. Anybody else want to speak? Sorry, I think Becky. Becky? Hi. Um, we did look into renting um, and we also looked into renting when we bought the fridge recently and it just turned out to be more expensive. It wasn't really economic, but we'll definitely look again. And um, yes, we will look at all different models. The idea is because it's going in the mezzanine kitchen and that can be used for things like the civic dinner and what have you, that we get a commercial dishwasher rather than the um, domestic dishwasher like we have in the staff kitchen downstairs. So it was trying to upgrade it for more commercial use, really. But we can look at cheaper models also. We only put that kitchen in fairly recently. And I'm surprised that we now it's sort of upgraded to what would, in my view, be termed a Rolls Royce uh, dishwasher. Um, and if it was being used every day, then I'd understand it. But it's used for civic dinner and probably 12 other, other, other functions in a year. Popped up there, so I just think we should ask the rain or whoever to go and have a look at this again. Becky may want to come back on that. No, go ahead, Sheridan. Um, so my at the moment, actually, uh, you're, you're right, but actually, the, the level of hires that we have in this building is quite low, and actually, we need more hires in this building, we, we, we need to maximize that. Um, at the moment, if you have um, a function where, say you have, I don't know, 30 people and they have keys and copies and that sort of thing, um, everything is washed by hand by a member of staff at the moment. So one, it's not as hygienic as if you're using the machine, and B, it is very labor uh, intensive uh, as well. So this would really cut down the time. Actually, uh, one, one of the issues we, uh, we have is um, you couldn't actually have uh, the building at capacity at any one time because you wouldn't actually have the um, uh, the facilities to be able to uh, wash all the crockery and cutlery that you have. Um, the reason this was inspired was um, uh, after uh, after uh, uh, after a, a meeting that I was just, um, at last September, and I saw the process in the kitchen and how labour intensive it was. Um, and taking up a lot of the town sergeant's time or, or, or caretaker's time, and it's really not um, cost, cost effective. Um, hence, having a very quick, uh, very efficient um, dishwasher that we know is going to get um, covering properly, um, uh, uh, properly clean. Um, and then it means that we can cater for uh, larger event, uh, events uh, uh, efficiently. <clears throat> So no, I, I I think you absolutely need a dishwasher. Absolutely, I just think that this this is um this is this is this is for the the, the, the very very busy hotels and restaurants. Well, they have a success I, I just I just think that there are other there might be a, 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 another a type of dishwasher possibly not not quite that expensive. But I'm not a you know no, 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 no. It's not, I, I just yeah. some reading last couple of days. Uh, the, so, um, if um, Becky's in, in the group, I'd, uh, I'd say that um, if you're still happy to recommend up to that amount, subject to us um, uh, uh, taking all those things and, um, yeah. and looking at the various. Uh, yeah, but still, yeah. the price probably a little bit cheaper. We can't believe it got bounced from four council and we're still discussing it. I thought it was really straightforward. Um, it's a small sum of money and the overall scheme to fit increases higher use of the amount we can do. 
we'll see a good return on the 5,000. Let's go with 5.1. Yeah. Okay. So, all those in favor? Okay, yes. Yeah, that's very good. That's close. 14 minutes on the hook. You are a joke. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>